Hello, welcome to our Recap Plus channel with me, Matthew. Today we will watch a recap movie called Tenet, released in 2020. This is a spoiler content video. So please turn on the subtitle and let's start the story. The film unfolds at an opera house in Kiev, just as the performance is on the verge of commencing. Ukrainian gunmen abruptly stormed the venue, firing shots, targeting the conductor, and instilling terror among the orchestra and patrons. Outside the building, an undercover SWAT team prepares to intervene. They deploy gas to subdue the patrons and performers before entering to rescue a compromised spy and retrieve an unidentified artifact. A man, known only as the protagonist, identifies the spy using the phrase we live in a twilight world. The response from the spy is, and there are no friends at dusk. After successfully recovering the spy, the team manages the gunman's explosives. The protagonist descends to retrieve the bombs and notices a bullet hole. An unknown agent with a red tag on his bag intervenes, seemingly intercepting the bullet as it reverses direction from where it was fired. The agents then dispatch the bombs into the empty upper sections, sparing the patrons as they detonate. While the agents are making their escape, the protagonist is captured. He regains consciousness between two train tracks, tied up alongside another agent, as their captors attempt to extract information through torture. The protagonist tries to use a cyanide pill, but one of the captors confiscates it. The other agent on the ground retrieves his own pill, and the protagonist seizes the opportunity, jumping for it and seemingly succumbing to its effects. He later awakens in a hospital, discovering that the pill is fake, but all of his colleagues have perished. Victor, his boss, recruits him for a new mission under an organization called Tenet, emphasizing its global significance. The protagonist is introduced to Laura, who will guide him in understanding the mission's intricacies. She provides him with a gun equipped with an empty magazine and instructs him to aim it at a rock. Remarkably, the bullet lodged in the rock reverses direction, returning to the gun. Laura explains that the bullets exhibit inverted entropy, allowing them to traverse backward through time. Through further testing, the protagonist learns to manipulate and intercept the inverted bullets at precise moments. The mission leaders have assembled more inverted items, to locate the source of the inverted bullets before their creators can exploit the technology to reverse crucial events, such as the transportation of nuclear weapons. Following the bullet's trail, the protagonist arrives at a man named Sanjay Singh and contacts Victor for support in infiltrating Sanjay's residence. A local man named Neil is sent to aid him. The two employ bungee cords to access Sanjay's building at night, intending to interrogate him. However, they discover that it's Sanjay's wife, Priya, who possesses the necessary information. Priya is affiliated with Tenet and informs the protagonist that the bullets originate from a Russian oligarch named Andre Sater, who apparently can communicate with the future. Priya tasks the protagonist with getting close to Andre to uncover the secret of producing inverted bullets. The protagonist arranges a meeting with Sir Michael Crosby at a restaurant, where Crosby provides valuable information about Andre, who grew up in a secret Soviet city that suffered a major catastrophe and was subsequently repurposed for underground testing. Andre managed to amass a considerable fortune before relocating to England and marrying Catherine Barton, with whom he now has a strained relationship. Crosby suggests that the protagonist gets close to Andre through Catherine, providing him with a forged Goya painting. This painting is one of two, with the other having been acquired by Andre while observing Catherine with her son Max. The protagonist contacts Catherine, discovering that Andre is blackmailing her by threatening to reveal her involvement in a fraudulent art scheme with a painting. The last time Catherine and Andre were happy together was on his yacht in Vietnam, where he offered her a chance to leave on the condition that she never see Max again. Catherine reacted with anger and left with Max. As she departed, she witnessed a woman diving off the yacht, moments before some of Andre's henchmen arrived to escort her away. A few henchmen remain in the kitchen, prompting the protagonist to engage in a fight with them as he attempts to follow Catherine. She calls him back and proposes that he help her steal the painting. Collaborating with Neil and a fixer named Mahir, the protagonist plans to break into Andre's storage facility at Oslo Airport. After Neil gathers intelligence on the facility, it becomes clear that security will be tight. Neil devises a plan to crash a cargo plane loaded with gold bars into the hangar as a diversion. Alongside their team, the protagonist and Neil enter the facility under the guise of professionals. As they explore further, they come across a room divided by a glass window with a machine on each side. Bullet holes in the window indicate an event that has not yet transpired. The machines activate, and two identical men emerge. The one on Neil's side runs past him, while the other, who is inverted, seems to struggle with the protagonist. The inverted antagonist reaches for an inverted gun that catches bullets from the holes in the window. Neil intervenes, preventing the protagonist from killing the inverted man just as he appears to exit through a loading door. 
They then position themselves safely before a recovery team arrives at the facility. The protagonist later meets with Pri on a boat, where he learns that the machine they encountered is called a turnstile, which can invert time and was created in the future. Priya reminds the protagonist not to kill Andre until they ascertain his connection with the future. Kat is informed that the painting has been destroyed, prompting her to arrange a meeting with Andre. The protagonist joins them and others for a dinner and Andre attempts to intimidate the protagonist regarding his association with Kat, having seen them together. However, the protagonist manages to persuade Andre to schedule a boating trip for the following morning to discuss the opera. Before Kat and Andre meet the protagonist the next day, he informs her that instinct prompted him to move the painting before the crash. During their discussion, Kat tries to drown Andre by loosening his harness. The protagonist intervenes, turning the boat around to rescue Andre, which leads to an argument as Kat accuses him of lying about the painting. Subsequently, Andre requests a meeting with the protagonist to settle their differences. He not only asks the protagonist not to seek revenge against Kat but also to assist in obtaining a case of plutonium that Andre desires. Andre recounts his history of procuring plutonium from his hometown and confesses to killing a co-worker to secure exclusive access. In a disturbing turn, he threatens Kat, explicitly stating that if he cannot have her, nobody will. Andre then departs as a helicopter delivers a crate of gold bars. The protagonist watches as Andre brutally beats another man to death with one of the gold bars. Realizing he's been spotted, the protagonist is apprehended by Andre's henchmen, who attempt to expose him as a spy using the Twilight World phrase. However, the protagonist remains steadfast. Eventually, they release him, and Andre agrees to aid in acquiring the plutonium from Talon. The protagonist regroups with Neil to execute the heist. Meanwhile, Kat and Andre engage in another confrontational exchange, during which she aims a gun at him. In response, he assaults her and takes her as a hostage. The protagonist and Neil track a truck and coordinate their team to surround it with other vehicles. This enables the protagonist to infiltrate the truck and secure what he believes is the plutonium case, only to discover that it contains a different artifact entirely. Andre's van approaches, with him aiming a gun at Kat's head. An inverted car, which had previously appeared to crash, passes between them, moving in reverse. The protagonist seemingly tosses the case to Andre, attempting to reach another car. Andre switches vehicles to save Kat after the inverted car stops. While the vehicle is stationary, Andre's men open fire on the protagonist and Neil. They capture the protagonist, bringing him to a room similar to the one at the Oslo facility. Inside, Andre has Kat, both of them inverted. He demands to know the location of the plutonium, even going as far as injuring Kat with an inverted bullet to her abdomen. The protagonist informs Andre that the plutonium is in the glove box of the inverted BMW. After Andre departs, other tenant agents, led by Neil and Agent Ives, eliminate Andre's henchmen. They rescue the protagonist and Kat, but she is gravely wounded from the bullet wound. The protagonist becomes suspicious of Neil after discovering Neil's long-standing involvement with Tenet, suspecting that Neil may know more than he's letting on. The protagonist reveals that he had lied about the artifact's location. In a desperate attempt to save Kat, the protagonist decides to take her through the turnstile to return to the previous week. He enters the machine wearing a respiratory mask and travels back to the moment of the chase, ending up in the BMW that ultimately crashes. After Andre realizes that what he sought isn't present, the car explodes. However, the inversion effect causes the protagonist to experience a near free state. Following his recovery, the protagonist and Neil proceed with taking Kat through the turnstile, returning to the week prior, and revisiting the Oslo facility. The protagonist reveals himself as the antagonist and confronts his inverted self in a fierce battle. Neil, having realized that the person he was pursuing was the protagonist, also uninverts himself. Kat emerges from the experience unharmed. The protagonist meets with Priya once again, where he learns that the artifacts sought by Andre are meant to comprise a device known as an algorithm. Andre may intend to use this device to invert the entire world. Future humans are believed to be using the algorithm to reverse the effects of global warming. Priya informs the protagonist that he may not be the sole savior of the world, but he firmly believes in his capacity to do so. He proposes using Kat to get close to Andre and thwart his plans involving the algorithm. Priya arranges for a meeting between the two on a ship. Kat reveals to the protagonist that Andre is concealing a secret, pancreatic cancer, and plans to employ the algorithm to end his life while inverting humanity, effectively erasing them all. She suspects that he intends to carry out this act on the same day they were aboard their yacht in Vietnam, driven by a similar if I can't have you rationale. The protagonist and Neil meet with Ives and his team as they head to the dead drop location, where the algorithm is being assembled and will be activated. This site is located in the secret city Andre hails from. 
Ives instructs his team to employ a temporary pincer movement, with half moving normally and the other half moving inverted to navigate the zone. Meanwhile, Kat inverts herself to return to the day on the yacht to delay Andre from taking his own life. As tenant agents encounter explosions while running through the zone, the protagonist, aided by Neil and a masked agent with a red tag resembling the agent from the Opera House, manages to enter the drop zone. However, they are initially blocked from accessing the algorithm by a gate. The inverted agent takes a gunshot but assists the protagonist in breaching the gate to retrieve the algorithm successfully. After their plan succeeds, Kat decides that she cannot bear to watch Andre die contentedly, believing he has won. She sabotages the deck with sunscreen and water before shooting Andre in the chest. His body is pushed off the yacht, hitting the railing on the way down. Kat then jumps from the yacht, revealing that her past self had witnessed her future self jumping. She meets with Mahir. Meanwhile, the protagonists, Neil, and Ives disassemble the algorithm. Ives instructs the two to remain hidden, warning that he may have to eliminate them. As Neil and Ives depart, the protagonist notices the red tag in Neil's bag, realizing that it was Neil who was shot near the gate. This revelation takes him back to the Opera House mission. Neil bids farewell to the protagonist, disclosing that he was the one who recruited Neil for Tenet in the future, marking the end of a friendship the protagonist has yet to experience. In London, the protagonist and Priya observe Kat as she goes to pick up Max from school. Before Priya can act, the protagonist kills her gunman and takes a seat behind Priya in her car. He informs her that he will become the founder of Tenet, revealing that they both worked for him all along. As Priya represents a loose end, the protagonist kills her. He then watches as Kat departs with Max. To watch more video like this, click on the videos on your screen and don't forget to let me know how you feel about today's video in the comments down below. And at last I will say stay safe and stay healthy. See you next videos.